Hey, what's going on, Teresa?
stand right there. Right there. Turn around. Say good morning. Good morning, Facebook family. So, Brian, uh, you out here this morning uh, working. Um, you've uh, been using a weed eater. You've been raking. You've been chopping weeds. You've been... Um, look like you're turning into a man. You, you, you transforming from boyhood into manhood. How does that make you feel? So good. So good. You know, most young men uh, can't get out of the bed in the morning. Um, if you can't get out of the bed in the morning, you can't learn and make no money. And uh, you seem like you have been able to set a precedence that we do have young black men who can get out of the bed, that can come out and learn and want to learn how to uh, be productive, how to uh, be uh, uh, a successful young man. What are your thoughts about that? I mean, it seems like you're investing. You, you've been out here planting bell peppers, tomatoes, black eyed peas, okra, watermelons. How did that make you feel? Honestly, um, I don't know. I just feel like I accomplished something. Because when I was younger, I always wanted to work. And I still do. I love working. I don't see why people don't like working. I love it. So, that's why I have fun. Well, it seems like when you come every Saturday, uh, you have a lot of young people here. Um, do you think they like the Freedom School? you think that they're learning and having fun? Yeah, I think some of them are learning. Some of them isn't. So what is your job to lead them? You know, guide them. Like they're a role model for them. Don't slack off. Don't just do whatever come here to do what they're told. You know, it's basically for them to learn responsibility and become a hardworking person and not just be lazy and just sit around all day. So the food that you're growing out here, uh, is it healthy for you? Yes, it's very healthy. The fruit, there's That's actually vegetarian food because they have no meat in it. So you like vegetarian food? Yes. <laughs> well, that's good. We're proud of you, Brian, to be a part of our Freedom School family. We hope that many other students will come and see how they can benefit from the Freedom School. Uh, we, uh, we're not running a program here. We're, uh, we are investing in our children. And so that our children one day can be able to take care of us when we become elders uh, and when we get old. Uh, always remember what you put in a kid is what you get out. If you put nothing in the kid, don't expect nothing out. I tell people to stop talking about our children. Quit putting them down. Uh, if you haven't taught them anything, then you can't expect anything out of them. Uh, but we're going to be having a tractor come, come in probably in about another hour or so to start plowing. Because uh, we want to start planting more food uh, here. Um, how did you like running a weed eater? Oh, the, I love it. The weed eater is my favorite tool. Why don't you show us uh, the different components, where you cut it on at, where you cut it off, how do you start it, where the string is, and all that good stuff. Okay. First thing. Never like this. This is to stop it, to start it, and this is the lever when you turn it on. This is where the gas goes, and this is basically the motor right here. So when you turn it on, you want to have it like this, not like this when you turn it on.
have it down, you don't fix it like this. I definitely need the wrong way. Like this. So what is that thing on the end over there that I hear whistling? What what is that? This is the string. When you face when you have it on and you face it now. Okay. I wanna pretend it's on right now. But when you face it down, it cuts the weeds. And so to have the string all the way out, this okay. Right have to have it face down. Directly face down. When you face it down, you have to hit it, not like, not like that. You have to hit it hard. Not too hard, or she's going to break it. <laughs> and so when you do that, it releases more stream. Not too much stream, it's not going to work. All right, correct. And uh, now how long have you been working a weed eater? About... 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I think so. You have worked the weed for 20 minutes, and you know all the parts to it. You know where to put in the, the fuel. You know where to cut it on and off at. You know where the string is at. You know how to pull it to start it. And you only been using that for 20 minutes? Oh, my God. about today or just in general? Today? Yes. 20 minutes. And you have your safety glasses on. Now, why do you have safety glasses? Explain that to me. Safety glasses. Number one rule. Safety is always the key. Put them on. So when we eat, the weeds don't get in your eye. And when it gets in your eye, you won't be able to see. And you'll just eventually you just go blind. So that's why we have these on. So a rock could hit, a, the, the string could hit a rock. And right. put your eye out. But if you have your glasses on, then... It's just going to crack the, grass, the glasses. Be okay. Your eye will be just... Now, is it good to come out to the Freedom School with slippers on? No. No, it is not. There's hazards. There's rocks, of course. There's plugs. There's... Um... There's rocks and bugs. There's holes in the ground. It's just not safe. It's not safe. That's right. Correct. I gotta wear shoes, boots, right. um, tennis shoes. Right. Should wear pants. Right. Well, one day, Brian, you'll be a Freedom School ambassador. And that means when you become an ambassador here, it's something that, that means that I, I have a lot of confidence uh, in you. I could leave the students here with you by, by yourself. You can lead them. You can talk to them. You lead by example, uh, and so you're you're working toward to be an ambassador here one day, and that's a high ranking in the Freedom School. Uh, those who are ambassadors, I believe we have two ambassadors, our son and Tay, uh, and we have some little ones that's working their way up also. And so we hope one day that uh, you will be able to, uh, if it's at your your wanting to go to college or whatever, that you be able to have the experience and the knowledge to be able to go to college and whatever you want to major in, if it's agriculture, um, farming, whatever it is that, that we will help you get where you need to go. And so that's why we have students here. That's why we're out here early in the morning. That's why we're investing in you. That's why we believe in you. We love you. Uh, we know one day that you're going to be successful and you're going to come back and talk to the little children and encourage them that they can do it. Uh, no matter what that, that smile go, I like that smile, million dollar smile. And we know that you'll come back like our other students have. We have been able successfully to help 13 students get into black historical colleges. And it all started here. And so they come back and speak to the little ones like you yourself. And so we just want to thank you for being out here this morning. Weed eating, giving a little tutorial on the how to weed eat, the safety aspects, the different components on the weed eater. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of rake up this paper and stuff and move the water around so that the tractor should be here in probably another hour. And uh, the farm is looking good over there. And uh, like I said, we're going to be planting some more stuff here real soon. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sign out. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to have Brian wave at us here.
He's one of our Freedom School students here in Fresno, California. 2018, July 2018. This is a historical day for this young brother. His brother has come a long way. I have a lot of confidence in him. Still a lot to learn, but we know that he's going to be successful under our leadership here at the Fresno Freedom School. And uh, everybody just give a shout out to my brother. Uh, he's here. Uh, he's accountable. Uh, he's dependable. He's liable. He's not making any excuses. Uh, he's here. It's hot out here. And he's, and he's a leader. He's a natural born leader. It's in his blood. I see it. I feel it. And hopefully one day, Brian, you'll be able to take over the Freedom School and I can go sit down and uh, let you guys run it. Would you like that? Yes. All right. Okay. We're going to sign out here. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is Dr. Harris uh, once again here in Fresno, California. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and sign out. Peace. Power to the people. And we're just going to say bye-bye. And uh, what's our sign, Brian? That's right. Hotel.